I went a little ham. But I think I deserve it. Welcome back to my channel. Um, hi to new subscribers and old. So, I've never showed really parts of my home. Really, so this is my first time showing up. This is just my living area and my office desk situation over there. My Christmas tree, I'm sitting on my floor as you can tell. Um, but I thought this was just a good spot. But in today's vlog, I wanted to show you guys some things I bought. I know I recently, I just want to talk about a little, a little bit about how I started posting on my vlog again. Um, I know I just posted a Kyoto vlog and it took forever because, I don't know, I was not motivated. I must have been busy. I don't remember what I did. Well, actually, I graduated right after I got home from Japan. And then I also went to Toronto for Caravana. I don't think I'm going to do a vlog on that because I didn't really vlog much there. So it would be pointless, but I wish I did. I also went to New York for like a day. And I'm actually going back to New York this weekend. So I'll probably vlog that. But this vlog is about what I recently bought. Let's get started. So I went to Sephora, Ulta, and I just got my Amazon package. And I also went to Anthropology. So I have a lot of stuff I'm going to show you guys. Um, I'll start with... Well, let's just start with the Amazon package first. Um, recently, I got like some feedback about my videos and how they can't really... People who watched it can't really hear me. Like a friend had mentioned it to me. So I got myself um, a mic. Um, I'll probably put it on in my next vlog but because I need to test it out. Hopefully you guys can hear me. There's not a lot going on. I'm in my home. And some just some like accessories. Um, yeah. So maybe I'll do that in another video. What else did I get? Yeah, more accessories. So should I open it, guys? Maybe I should. Let's just open it. I need like a knife or something. Um, this mic is from Movo. I was reading like a lot of, I did a lot of research. Um, if you guys know, I have the G7X Smart 2. I don't have the G7X3. It has like a mic insert. So that's the only downfall about this camera. I feel like there's no mic insert. So I had to buy like an extra wire to connect my, the actual mic. But... This is the mic, little fluffy thing, and some installments to hold the mic. And I got like a little, I don't know what to call it, like a, this is just like an attachment to attach the mic to the camera. So I attach this to the camera and then the mic goes and like hangs on the side of it. So that's that. This is the extra wire that connects the mic to the actual camera. A lot of that came in because I'm actually going to New York soon. Well, literally like this weekend and... Well, that's what I wanted to get into. Everything I kind of bought was kind of for New York and other stuff I bought was kind of for like a re-up. Um, but yeah, that's for New York. Um, okay, so next we'll go with Ulta. So I re-upped on my hydrating conditioner by Joico. Um, I love this conditioner. I don't use it all the time um, because I feel like it leaves a lot of residue in my head when I use too much conditioner and I feel like that goes for every conditioner for me personally. But this is my favorite and I love the smell and it's blue. Um, I bought this to put in my purse. A little hand sanitizer. These are so like aesthetically cute. I bought an aloe, so that go in my purse. I got the meal, meal, I guess. Here we go. The meal hair oil with rosemary mint. It's 
scalp and hair strengthening oil infused with biotin and encourages longer healthier hair um i'm trying to get longer hair uh, for the most part my hair has been short as some of you know and this is how long it is now and i've seen everybody using this and i mean it sounds like it works so we're gonna it was only ten dollars original price was like 15 it was on sale for 10 so talk about it got a new nyx butter gloss in the color caramel um i have it on right now but maybe i should reapply But yes, I got that. I also got I didn't get a color corrector by Elf. Um, I haven't been getting a lot of sleep, and I feel like I can I see like I'm getting dark circles. So that's why I bought this one, and I actually did use it. I think it works. It looks good. I'm not like the best person at makeup, but it was only four dollars and. I don't know. Maybe I just need to get used to it. But yeah, that's everything I bought at Ulta. We will to Sephora. I went to Sephora and Ulta. It's because everyone knows that Ulta doesn't have everything that Sephora has. Like Sephora does not have any drugstore brands. So, and then Ulta doesn't really have a lot of other brands. I would say maybe like a majority of like the high-end brand. This is what I bought. The Ola Henriksen Sea Rush Brightening Gel Cream. Um, since it's the winter time, this is what I typically use because my face gets really dry in the winter time and I need a really good moisturizer and this is the one. I usually buy the Truth Serum, but I learned that the Truth Serum kind of makes me even more dry because it's like seeping in my skin. I need something for like my top layer. But this is my go-to. Um, yeah, I don't really use it in the summer because summer I'm like oily already. Um, I also got this Laneige sleeping mask. Um, I didn't buy this. I used my points. It was like 100 points. And I had 500 points. So I was like, let me just use this. Um, a water sleeping mask. Hydrates, bright and soften. Good for the winter. It smells really good. That's why I grabbed it. I smelled it when it... Um, when it was at the uh, sample section. So I was like, I'll just grab this. But yeah, that's everything I bought there. What do they have in here? Oh, they put in a little like hydrofacial situation, like advertising. If anyone has ever done a hydrofacial at Sephora, let me know in the comments if you like it because I've always wanted to do a hydrofacial and I know there's they're like a little pricier depending on what you get but let me know if you like it if it's worth it i'm very interested but yeah like i said a lot of my stuff i'm buying just because of this one day trip in new york but also to invest because it's very cold right now so i need to like you know buy a lot of stuff for like the cold like socks skincare anything to keep myself not shivering um but next is anthropology this bag is so cute that they gave me right if you're thinking like anthropology is very expensive and what the heck am i doing shopping there you're correct because it is so freaking expensive it could be a little bit like you know less maybe like a few dollars less i grabbed some things that i actually needed um for new york because i don't have certain things so let's see i got this scarf everybody needs a really good scarf and i've been meaning to get like a really big scarf and it's long i don't know you guys can't really see but I'll give you an idea how cozy huh and i don't think the price tag was that bad but if you guys know any cheaper scarves that look like this Maybe Target. I haven't checked, but I don't really shop at Target. Um, $58 for this. I love it. Like, I just love how long it is. It's so soft and cozy. The next thing I got was a beanie. A regular color beanie. I only have a pink and a purple, and I didn't really want to wear those colors. And 
Yeah, I don't know why I just feel like they weren't neutral. So this is the beanie I got. It's super like soft and it feels just like the scarf. I had I had tried this on with the scarf in the store and the lady was like the the so sales so she was like you look so cozy and I'm like that is exactly what I'm trying to do girl because once I go to New York I'm gonna be freezing. If you guys ever been to New York in the winter time, especially yeah, winter time, um I went last year when they had all the you know like decorations up and everybody wants to go to like Rockefeller Center. It's fair warning. It is extremely freaking busy and it's just crazy. Like I was literally only there for maybe ten minutes and I left. But if you wanna go, I would say go at least once in your life an experience but I don't think I would ever do again unless I have to I know what you're thinking Bottega dupe yes um so this is like a good size I tried it on in the store but I had like a big jacket on oh this focus I just think it was a little too small for me I wanted a big one I don't know when I think Bottega I think massive and I don't think this is big enough for me because there is a bigger one but it is currently in back order and I understand why because the price tag on this will take is what three thousand it's like three times my rent I can't do that but there is a big one and maybe I shouldn't have told you guys that since it's on back order but um, I bought it just because I wanted to try on with like a jacket that I was going to wear in New York and see how I feel about it so it's an if, it's a maybe. I might return it. I'll find out soon. With some socks for the winter. These socks, pretty. They feel so thick and like. I need socks that hug my feet. I don't like loose socks, and these seems like they hug my feet. Seem like they hug my feet. But two pairs for twenty-four U.S. dollars. Not bad. But yeah, that's really all I bought today i know i went a little ham um but it's for a good reason and oh question if anybody knows any good hydrating concealer put me on put it in the comments because your girl is struggling with this nars radiant cream concealer in the winter so yeah let me know um my next vlog will probably be me in new york but by that time, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll probably see it. You'll probably see this vlog if I edit it after New York. If it makes it to my channel. But yeah, today is currently Wednesday and we leave Saturday. Me and Anthony, sorry, I never told you where I was going. Me and Anthony leave Saturday and we always, we usually drive there. But this time we decided to fly just because it's quicker. Um... Driving from where I live is about three hours, which is not bad, but it's still a lot of time. It's total, that's like six hours of driving. Um, our main reason for going there is to see the whole exhibit, and that's going to end, I think, December 4th, his actual birthday. So, you can see why he did that. Thank you guys for watching my vlog. Let me know if you like these type of vlogs. I don't do a lot of shopping. I don't know when I'm ever going to do this again, but hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. If you made it this far, comment the strawberry emoji.